the Lockheed EC-21 Warning Star transformed the civilian L-1049 Super Constellation into America's first major airborne early warning platform, establishing the foundation for modern AWACS operations. Development began in 1949 when the Navy adapted the L-749 Constellation for early warning duties. The first prototype PO-1W flew June 9, 1949, featuring distinctive radomes above and below the fuselage housing AN-APS-45 Height Finder and AN-APS-20 Search Radars. The Navy ordered 142 WV-2 aircraft, while the Air Force received 74 EC-121D variants, costing over $2 million each. The EC-121H featured SAGE integration, while the Ultimate EC-121T included advanced EF systems. The Warning Star served two primary missions, Continental Defense and Southeast Asia Combat Operations. From 1954 to 1965, barrier forces off both coasts extended early warning coverage against Soviet threats. The Atlantic Barrier operated from Maryland and Newfoundland, while the Pacific Barrier covered approaches from Hawaii and Guam between Adak Island and Midway. Combat debut came April 21, 1965, under Operation Big Eye, later College Eye. EC-121s operated from Tan San Nut, flying dangerous low-altitude missions over the Gulf of Tonkin. By bouncing radar signals off water surfaces, they detected aircraft up to 150 miles away despite ground clutter. Alpha Orbit aircraft flew at wave top level under F-104 escort, enduring extreme heat and MiG threats. The April 1967 QRC-240AF system revolutionized operations, detecting North Vietnamese MiGs using Soviet SRO-2 transponders. The classified Rivet Jim system monitored MiG pilot communications. EC-121T aircraft supported the November 1970 Sun Tay Prison Rescue Mission. The Batcat configuration, EC-121R, served as airborne relay stations for Operation Igloo White's ground sensor network along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. These aircraft flew 18-hour missions monitoring enemy movements across 11 orbits spanning Southeast Asia. Two Batcat aircraft were lost in operational accidents. Between 1965 to 1973, EC-121s flew 13,921 combat missions, totaling over 98,000 accident-free hours. They assisted in downing 25 MiGs, supported 80 aircrew rescues, and enabled over 135,000 strike sorties. No early warning aircraft were lost to enemy action. The final operation, Family Man, maintained Florida surveillance until 1979 following a Cuban MiG security incident. The last warning star flew June 25, 1982. The famous Triple Nickel, 53-555, which controlled aviation's first AWACS air-to-air -air victory, resides at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. The EC-121 bridged primitive ground radar and modern AWACS systems, transforming civilian aircraft technology for military use and establishing the foundation for contemporary airborne early warning operations.